Hello, this is Oni, uh, uh, Oni Stuffs, and uh, welcome to a another video on uh, my new playlist that I created, uh, which has uh, five videos. I mean, six videos, including this one, Minecraft Redictricity, where I mm, do curious experiments with the redstone electricity mechanics in Minecraft. So today I am here to show you a uh, particularly interesting thing uh, I made. Uh, if you've played some custom maps, you should know that mm, there are two types of, you know, puzzles, maze type of puzzles where you have to guide something else through a maze to the, you know, the target. Uh, the first one, as you can see on the screen here, mm, is uh, the still images from the custom adventure map evasion craft i um i don't remember who made it but it the link will be down in uh, i mean the link will be down in the description and the name will be on the screen i'll edit that in later uh, where you have to guide a um, powered minecart through a track maze a railway track maze to the destination and you use levers and stuff to change the track intersection track at intersections now here is another one of me playing the Irona mansion adventure um, where you see you have to use pistons to guide <coughs> a water flow to reach particular destinations now both of these use uh, two moving things in the game which are controllable a uh, powered minecart using um, changing rails and the flow of water using pistons well, uh, I've noticed that something, another controllable aspect of the game, which no custom map has yet to use, which is kind of a shame, really. So, let's see what that is. And that is this. It looks kind of daunting, but I'll show you what it is. Yeah, the circuit is kind of daunting, but don't let that fool you. After all, I made it. And there's that stupid falling through the repeaters bug anyway what it is is uh, i'll give you a outside top side view first here you have to direct a redstone signal to your desired output which is basically lifting that piston up so we need a power coming out here and these torches i mean these levers each control these each control a piston which raises these yellow colored i mean the orange colored wool blocks for instance let's take this one for example that that one lifted up like that that one the torches are also a nice touch so you know which piston is which lever is up okay so when you're done making the circuit you come down here and you give the input and the input will obviously go through these this redstone maze and go out here to the piston now uh, these things these uh, red lights are uh, these are supposed to indicate TNTs I haven't actually put them in because for obvious reasons but once you power these red lights I mean the TNTs they'll explode so don't do that and also if you power these pistons they'll break the circuit like so so the power can no longer pass so these are the two hazards I've built now both destroy the circuit permanently so you have to be quite quite knowledgeable with redstone to fi figure this out now i actually haven't solved this myself i accidentally made it way too big i was trying to prove a point that this can be made a redstone circuit maze and ended up making it way too big you can e easily have much much less controls these there are 18 switches here i think yeah 18 you can easily have 10 or 8 even and I, I just put that flower there for no reason whatsoever so shall we start solving this puzzle then okay so the first thing we need as you can see and the white iron trail is provided for a better viewing 
from here because the minecraft glass texture isn't really that easy to see through so first we need that wool block to open up so let's see nope 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 and there you go that one opened up so when the power comes it'll come here activate that and come through here now we don't want the piston now right now we are not considered about the piston okay so we go here go here go here go here now if we activate this thing it'll break the circuit so we don't want that we go here if we activate this thing it'll power the TNT and boom you're dead so it goes here okay so now here is a nice thing I made okay as you can see the wire has two paths to go through but here's the trick let's turn on the lever and you'll see what I mean as you can see this is actually the limit of the redstone power travel so this does not reach so uh, we actually need so this is a false path we actually need to power up this piston here so whenever you're changing circuits always turn off the power because as real life states you can't actually change circuit wh while the power is on that'll be dangerous to your health nope 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 okay nope and there we go so the power comes here the power can if goes this way then that will trigger the TNT so we go here we go here we can't obviously power that because that will break the circuit we go here through here we obviously can't power this because that will break this circuit so we go here we go here and again we have a bifurcation from this road and we have a this road now we can go either way from here so let's try this road first if we activate this thing it goes it goes it goes it goes it can actually come back here and attack that or it can go through there now obviously we don't want this to power up because that will blow the circuit but we do want this to power up this that one over there so the power can come through here come through here and go to the output so let's get the output one first nope nope and there we go output we don't want that because that will trigger the TNT we want this nope 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 yep there we go so here we come so we don't want that because that will break the circuit so it will come here so the now the power is coming from this wool block there so we need that one nope nope and there we go power comes through there through there and reaches the output so now and if we can see through this line which we ignored if we go through here the power comes here that will break the circuit so we don't want that and that leads into a TNT so the bifurcation was actually a lie so right now the circuit is complete so it should theoretically work without blowing any of the circuits as you can see none of the red torches on the wool blocks are off so therefore no TNTs are off but as you can see the circuit is incomplete why is that oh we forgot to activate that sorry right turn it off just in case you don't blow any piston or something so we want that to turn on I think it was this one here I don't remember no mm, nope okay I, I think it was nope mm, nope nope away so it has to be around here that one no 
Nope. Nope. Huh. Strange. That one doesn't seem to trigger. Don't tell me I didn't put that on anywhere. Oh wait, I, I think that's the very first one. Oops. Hold on. Come on. Come on. I think it's this one. And there we go. Oof. Okay, so now if I trigger it, uh, it comes through there, through there, doesn't activate anything, comes through there, through here, through here, through here, through here, and as you can see, the piston is up. Now, you can obviously simplify this. I have no idea why I made it so damn, you know, complicated and convoluted, but as you can see, none of the TNTs go off, none of the pistons have broken the circuit. And this is a nice, nice thing, a redstone maze. So, without further ado, as you can see, it's almost going dark, which means it's almost 10 minutes. So, this is Honest Stuff saying goodbye. And, uh, yeah, that's it. The redstone maze made by Honest Stuffs. It's slightly convoluted, but simplifying the circuit will make it much, much simpler to navigate. And that's it. This is Honest Jeff saying, see you later. Bye. Also, uh, just before I sign off, uh, if you do happen to use this in a map, please tell me. I'd be very happy to play it. Thank you. And... Good night or morning, whatever. See ya.